So this is our trial of the uh, uh, Cutter Master's latest uh, end grinding corner radius end mill sharpening machine. It's a YN03C. <coughs> It'll do one, uh, sorry, two, three, four, and six fluid end mills. And so <clears throat> you call it drawers there. Um, we provide a mix of North American size collets with the machine. <clears throat> so to begin with, this is the tool timing device. It has a, we're grinding a four fluid end mill, so this tooth uh, times the tool to the chuck. Put it in. Rotate the end mill so that it comes up against this rest here. If you get a large end mill, you can slide this over this way. And you can just snug up the tool. And pull it out. Your tool should be uh, basically flat with the one of the flats to see if you're timed right. <coughs> this is the end grinding side of the workstation. This is the radius grinding side of the workstation. To do um, uh, three, four, five, and six flute tools, you use this station, this station, and this station. To grind uh, two flute tools, you use this station, and this station, and this station. We're going to do a four flute here today, so this is really our first time trying this on this machine, so we'll just see how it works. We, I think we have a figure. <coughs> We're going to start by gashing the tool. And to make it center cutting, you want either two and two and four, or one and three to go deeper, so that the flute goes all the way across the center in one of the 180 degree axes, and that gives you your center cutting. So we'll turn the machine on. In this case here, we're going to try for deeper with uh, two and four. secondary. Do the secondary grind. You come into this workstation here. You see how that works. We're going to close the lid. There's a fixed shoulder that you have to go into. You just do all four positions all the same. Secondary is it's a clearance angle, so as long as you have some, you're fine. And then this is the primary. Just come in, line it up. There's a face to guide you square, and then just push in. Just go all the way around the tool. show you how to do a corner radius. It's pretty simple. This is already set up. It has a one millimeter um, radius wheel. These wheels are produced with a radius profile on the corner of the wheel. It's uh, with diamond abrasive on it. This has already been set. <coughs> Again, it's pretty easy to access the wheel if you want to change it. So we're just going to load the tool. And then rotate over. Go to the next loop. Mm -hmm. 
And there's your perfect one millimeter corner radius in less than a minute.